Hello everyone. Let's provide a solution to this problem square root of x plus 2x equals 6. Our target is to make root x the subject. So we have root x to be equal to, you write this first, then we have minus 2x. Now the next thing on our mind is how to remove the square root and we can only remove the square root by squaring what we have. So we have 6 minus 2x. Now you can see that we have changed the equation as we squared what we have here. So to make the equation the same, you will also square what you have on the other side. Now this and this will go. So x is now equal to what we have here. But we are having two of this because of the square. We have 6 minus 2x multiplied by 6 minus 2x. Now a couple of students would wants to change the sign if one is positive the other will be negative but it's not like that because we're not obeying difference of two squares so now let's multiply x will be equal to 6 times 6 okay this here will multiply everything you can rearrange it like this 6 multiply by everything here 6 minus 2x and this is minus 2x. I mean, this particular one, it will multiply everything here to 6 minus 2x. So let's multiply. x will be equal to 6 times 6, 36, right? 6 times minus 2x, that will be minus 12x. Minus 2x times 6, another minus 12x. Then minus times minus is positive. 2x times 2x will be 4x squared. So we have x, we have 36. Put these two together, you get minus 24x, then plus 4x squared. Now let us rearrange this so that the one with the highest power will appear first. We'll have 4x squared. This is minus 24x. This will come here to become minus x. Then this is plus 36. And okay, this is 36. And everything will be equal to 0. Because we moved everything to the right hand side. We have 4x squared minus 25 x then plus 36 equals 0 and as always I'll be using the formula method for this and for the formula we always have our ABC so a is 4 B is minus 25 so if you're picking B this negative has to come with the 25 then our c is 36 that is the constant and now what is the formula the formula is x equals minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac we divide everything by 2a i think the most difficult thing about using the formula is remembering the formula so now, in place of A, B, C, we'll write 4, minus 25, and C, respectively. Okay, so our X will now be minus, minus 25. Because this negative will come down, and B itself is minus 25. Then plus or minus, we have B squared. B squared will be minus 25 close the bracket and square then minus 4 
times 4 times 36. This is because A is 4 and C is 36. Then all of this <coughs> will be divided by 2 times 4. Okay, so we have um, x to be equal to 25, negative, negative is positive. Then we have minus 25 squared will give us 625. Minus 4 times 4 times 36 is 576. And this is divided by 8. Now, what do I do? Subtract. So that x will be equal to 25 plus or minus 625 minus 576 is 49. Right? So we will now divide this by 8. But mind you, 49 is a perfect square, so it makes it easy for us. Our x will now be 25 plus or minus we now have square root of 49 is 7 then we divide by 8 so this means that our x is 25 plus 7 over 9 or 25 minus 7 over 9 okay it's over 8 this is over 8 and this is over 8 so let's continue so that um, x will be equal to 25 plus 7 is 32, right? So write 32 over 8. Or on this side, 25 minus 7 is 18. And that is over 8. Now to continue with this, our x will be 32 divided by 8 is 4. Or on this side, okay, let's reduce it to a lower term. Um, 2 goes into 8, we have 9. And 2 goes into 8, we have 4. So we have 9 over 4. Now, let's put this value into the equation and see if they will satisfy or the one that will be satisfying. Okay, so this is the equation, and we have um, x to be equal to 4 or 9 over 4. Now, from the look of things, you should be able to understand that this value of x will not satisfy. Okay, let's try it, and you will see how it will not satisfy. So, we have square root of 4 plus 2 times 4. Okay, square root of 4 is 2 plus 2 times 4 is 8 and the answer is 10 we are not having 10 on the right hand side so this does not satisfy so it has to be rejected now let's work with 9 over 4 we have square root of 9 over 4 plus 2 times 9 over 4 now will this give us x that's what we are trying to know this is 3 over 2 square root of 9 is 3 square root of 4 is 2 plus um, 2 will go here two times so we have 9 over 2 as well let's add this the LCM is 2 3 plus 9 is 12 and 12 divided by 2 is 6 and we had the same 6 on the right hand side so this is to say that our x equals 4 does not satisfy and then x equals 9 over 4 satisfies